Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. For today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the high school years pack cast items. And I was so excited to do this. The way that I am doing this is I am actually giving a sort of high school makeover to the current royal teens in my royal family let's play series. We are currently on season two, part 79 of the series. So what I wanted to do here was first, this is my very first time taking a look at the create a sim items when I was recording this and as you guys can see here I am just kind of going through and taking a look at all the items that came with the pack and looking at all of their swatches and I thought this would be a good time to one give the little high school makeover I was going to give the sims for when I do a high school AU so a little alternate universe where our royal teens are not royals so I wanted to give each of them the style that I thought they would have. It was a bit tough with some of them, I will say. As you guys can see here, this is Frederick, and for him, I wanted to do a sort of laid back look. I Honestly, I think his was probably the hardest for me. Uh, you guys will see later some of the outfits. I did have a bit more of a better idea of what kind of style I wanted for them, but with Frederick, I it was so hard to dress them. I felt like some of the items in the pack. One, I definitely wouldn't be able to wear some of them at school. I would have gotten dress coded, but I think with the pack that they decided to go with a bit more of like a high school TV series. So I guess where dress code doesn't really exist. Um, some of the guys clothing, I was questioning a bit. Some of it definitely looked like some high school items, but a few of them, I'm not sure. I, I thought some of it might be something a, a 50 year old man might wear, um, including the the sweater. I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was this sweater that I put on Frederick that I was like, hmm, I'm not 100% sure, but I am pretty happy with the look that I ended up going for him. Now, for Molly Grace, I wanted to go with a more preppy, proper look for her. I definitely think that she is going to be a cheerleader. She just strikes me as the type. Um, some of the outfits for her I thought fit really well. A lot of the hairs that came with the pack worked really well for her. I tried to do as much of I of the items from the pack that I could for this makeover. I'll definitely be probably changing a few things and definitely adding a few more outfits as well for them when I do play this on my own. But for this video specifically, since I wanted to focus on the items from the pack, I tried to use as much as I could. I couldn't really stick to that for everyone. You guys will see later. But again, just as much as I could do for them and that I thought fit these teens well. For Molly Grace, the hair with the headband, it was so cute for an everyday look for her. I wasn't sure about that high ponytail, but I actually might change that for one of her looks later. It was so, so cute. And then I tried to pick a few different outfits for them, definitely some everyday outfits that they would wear to school. If they were going to be joining the cheer squad or football team, I gave them an athletic wear just for the uniforms. And then I tried to give some of them the prom outfits. I did love the outfits that came for the females. The dresses and everything were so gorgeous, so stunning. And that hair that came with the pack too is so pretty for Molly Grace for prom. For the boys, I'm not sure. Um, I, I didn't have anyone at my prom wear the items that came for the formal wear for the guys, but I think I might be changing some of them into suits later. I didn't really use all of those for the guys just because, again, I I wasn't sure. I thought they should have been a bit more formal. Maybe some like tuxedos or something with a bow tie or, or just a tie. Um, but a lot of them didn't seem to have that. A lot of them also seemed to be quite large on the guys. Um, not, not for all of them. I, I did like a few of them. A few of them I thought were really cute. But yeah, I'll probably be changing up some of those looks. Um, and I did notice, so I was super happy with how many clothing items came with the pack. We got lots of tops, lots of, uh, a good amount of bottoms, um, but lots of tops and lots of full body outfits. I was a little surprised to see that we didn't have that much accessories come with the pack, nor did we have a lot of makeup or hats that came with the pack. I guess hats might make a bit of sense. I was expecting a few more makeup items and some more accessories as well, uh, and also some more shoes. I feel like we didn't really get many shoes at all, but I, I am happy with the amount of clothing that we got with the pack. 
Now, for William, you guys will see here, his look, I, <laughs> I thought fit him very well, but I personally just didn't love it, even though I thought it suit him as a, a commoner look, I guess. Um, it was very casual, and I'm not used to it. For those who watch my series and know me, you guys know I am so used to dressing royalty and nobility, so even their casual outfits are super nice. I was not really used to dressing them in t-shirts and, and making them look like, or some of them look like they don't have any fashion sense, um, but I thought that William might join the chess club so I gave him the chess club t-shirt I feel like he looks like he's the lead in a romantic comedy like a high school romantic comedy that's just waiting uh, for a makeover or something like that so I, I thought it fit him again but I, I'll probably be maybe find some reason to give him a makeover when I do play later on. For Nani, they actually might be one of my favorite looks. I love this hair on them. I, I've never really liked how for colors for the hair swatches, like if it looks like the hair is dyed, it really depends on the color swatch you pick for them. So naturally their hair is black, but I had to go with the sort of, I think it was like the gray brown that I went for them to get this pink for their hair. I loved this this color on them the best for the dyed hair. It looks so good. And a lot of the outfits I thought fit them perfectly. Like so many of them. Uh, some of the outfits I didn't think fit everyone, but for them, I just loved the looks that I picked out for them. The suits I went with, I gave them a few different party outfits or outfits for prom, depending on what they feel like wearing. So I gave them a suit that looked really good and that jumpsuit that has like fish scales on it, which would be perfect because they are a mer person. So I thought that looked amazing on them. So I wanted to pick that for another outfit for prom if that's what they decide to end up going with. But yeah, I, I'm so in love with the outfits that came for them. Um, and and that crop top with the jacket as well. I thought that's such a great casual look. I think they actually might look the most different from what they usually dress like in the series. So I I'm just so happy with the outfits that I was able to pick out for them. Now for Jessica. So Jessica normally has a wavy curly hair and I wanted to try to put that wavy hair on her that came with the pack. I have a little issue with it though. It kind of looks like there's just a circumference of hair that's shaved underneath because there's so much space between the hair and the neck that I thought it looked a little bit unnatural. So I ended up going with the straight shorter hair with the braids because I actually thought it suited Jessica so well. I tried to go with a bit more of a bohemian look for Jessica because I thought that just suits her style. And also I was like, okay, what would she be like in high school? I think she would 100% be the class clown. And I could see her maybe being involved in a few clubs. Maybe she likes art and stuff, but maybe a bit more of, I guess a Renaissance sim to where she likes to try a few different things, but maybe doesn't specialize in one specific hobby. So the outfits that I picked for Jessica, I really love as well. That hair suits her. It's so cute. I think the little braids in it is adorable. And this little jacket, the blue jacket with the pants. Oh, also that top. That is probably one of my favorite tops. If you guys saw the pink one with the sort of lace, the very bohemian top. I think that top is so cute. I love the texture on it. I think EA did really, really well with that one. Now for Kaleo. So I was planning on having Kaleo join the football team. I could definitely see him being the quarterback and just this, I guess, super popular, not frat boy because it's high school, but he just, he, he always reminds me of a frat boy a bit. Um, he's, I guess, very charismatic, but he's a jerk on the end side. Not everyone sees his jerk side. Or maybe they do. Maybe for this AU, they see a bit of his jerk side. I feel like there's always those high school stereotypical movies where you have the star sports player who's just an outright jerk and he's still popular apparently. So I, I'm i not sure what I'm going to do with him. I, I do know he's going to be a bit of a jerk. He's going to be the football player. I wasn't sure about the clothing that I went with for him. I'm probably going to end up changing some things up. I just thought that this shirt from the pack probably suited him best. Also, if they had a swim team, I feel like he would be on the swim team as well because he's also a mer person. Um, but I do wish this top had a few more swatches. I really like the pattern on it, but a few more options would have been really cool. 
I struggled so hard to find a hair for Kaleo. He's probably the guy in my series that's going to go through the most hairs. Uh, currently, his hair is shaved in my series, um, but I do have a few CC hairs that I plan on using for him that kind of have it growing back. I end up going well oh, well it, it just okay yeah i end up going with this one for his hair i was very torn because i was like these other ones could work really well but i do plan on using them but i thought that messy look might be good i was a bit torn because i was like okay well he could either just style his hair really well or he could just be like my hair does what it wants i'll, I'll let it do what it wants it looks amazing anyway so <laughs> i feel like either way could have worked for him for the prom hair i did go with the one that didn't have the strands in the way so that does look like it's a bit more put back um, but I, I was definitely going to end up going with a different suit for him that didn't come with the pack now for Caspian this hair from the pack I thought actually looks so good on Caspian I didn't get to use as much of the hair from the pack for the guys in this video but this one specifically I thought looks so good and for him because out of this group for my royal family series he's technically the only commoner so I didn't like his look doesn't change all that much I guess from what it is in the series he still has that edgy look I gave him the leather jacket that came with the pack which I thought looked great for him I did end up going with a t-shirt as well I could see him being into video games but then again I can also see him being this edgy rebel new kid that maybe got expelled from his last school for a reason that might not have been his own fault which I guess also falls pretty well into the plot of my series but I, I figured that he would be the new kid and that Kaleo, again, he's the, the quarterback. I was debating on possibly making Alice May and Kaleo be dating in this alternate universe playthrough that I wanted to do, which, by the way, it is going to be possibly streamed on my Twitch channel. It's currently a sub goal and we're actually very close to that sub goal too. So you guys might see it on my Mirror Ray streams channel. For the outfits for Alice May, I thought that some of them were so cute on her. I struggled really hard to find a good hair for her because her hair has changed up a lot in the series too. I really love that box braid ponytail that comes with the pack. It's so cute, but I just thought it, it didn't quite fit Alice May very much. I think it would look great on another one of my Sims, but I think for her specifically, it just it made her look, look completely different. But the clothing items I thought were super, super cute. I wanted to go with a preppy look for for her as well and a bit more of a cutesy look. I also think that she would be on the cheer squad. Maybe her and Molly Grace can both be the cheer captains. I think that that, that would be adorable. I do think that if there was a dance squad, Molly Grace would be on that. But since there is not, that comes with the pack and I want to keep to what is in the game, what's available in the game, so I can actually play it on streams and such. Um, so she she will be on the cheer squad. But I think this crop top is so cute. I think maybe with a different bottom, it could work really well. Um, and there's also some other items too. The little kawaii outfits are so cute. Um, and then there's, again, some full body outfits that I thought were adorable. Also this jacket that's on Alice May it is one of my favorites. It is adorable. And I think it looks so good in game. A lot of the times I'm steer away from some of the items that come with the pack for EA because I think they look a little clunky, like very chunky and big, but some of the items I thought were pretty good for this. Um, and then I do pick a cheer outfit for her because again, I do have her on the cheer squad and you guys will see also a prom outfit I picked for her, which I'll probably be changing the hair for. Um, you guys will see it in a bit, but I'll probably be changing the hair, but that dress, the off-shoulder dress that you guys see that comes with the pack is so cute I'm obsessed with it it's a it's adorable and I love the textures on it too um, but yeah I would love to know your guys's thoughts for the items that came with the pack if you have it or if you're just seeing it here I love most of the items and I am excited to get into the gameplay the build by items are gorgeous too but again I, I wanted to stick with the cast items for this video but let me know your thoughts let me know what you think think of all of their makeovers that I picked for them. I will be showing them at the end. Again, a lot of it is subject to change. 
Um, and I might talk about the AU a little bit more on my videos, maybe in the next video if you guys are curious. Uh, but if you do want to catch it on one of my streams, my Twitch channel is MiraRay underscore. I will put a link in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!